Good morning, everybody. My name is David with Forgotten Coast Fishing. A couple weeks ago in a previous episode, I was out here in beautiful St. Joe Bay over these grass flats, and I exclusively fished artificials just to see if we could find out which type of artificial caught more fish or see if we could find some patterns that would help us in the future. I fished top waters, I fished soft plastic paddle tails on the bottom, I fish uh, suspending and slow sinking hard baits, as well as a DOA shrimp under a popping cork. And while they all caught fish, the DOA under the popping cork seemed to do a little better than the others. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take that experiment a step further and we're gonna exclusively use popping corks today and see if we can find out if there's a better imitation shrimp up under that popping cork. Or there again, just some further patterns to help us with this type of fishing. So we're gonna get started and let's get to fishing. All right, so our setup is this is a Cajun Thunder popping cork. This is what I've got rigged on all the rods. You can see, you know, see all this makes a bunch of noise as you're, as you're um, working it. And these brass beads obviously have a little weight to them. So not only is your, your lure weighted, but you got a little weight on your uh, popping cork and that's gonna help stand it straight up. And then the first type of shrimp we're gonna start out with is this voodoo shrimp. It has a built-in weight and it sinks more horizontal, which I, I kind of like. It's gonna fall a little slower and uh, I think provide a little bit of action. And the idea behind these popping corks is you wanna get your line tight and every, I don't know, few seconds, you're gonna give it a pop. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a splash and a noise. And all those things are gonna help attract the fish by fooling the fish into thinking that there's other fish feeding on the surface. And so they'll come over and then see your shrimp or whatever else you have up under your popping cork and hopefully grab it. All right, so I did about 10 casts with that voodoo shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to this DOA just to see if that makes a difference. Now, one thing I was doing last time I was fishing with these artificials, I was using some scent and I haven't put that on yet. And I've had not had any bites or really had any activity. So let's go ahead and put some of this on. This is uh, Dr. Juice Saltwater Slam. Real sticky stuff. I leave it in this bag, it's messed up. You can see it's all stuck in the bag and all that kind of thing, but good stuff. So I've been fishing for about 45 minutes. You know, have not gotten any bites. So I'm just gonna throw this Fred paddle tail with an eighth ounce weedless hook on it on the bottom and just bounce that a few times and see if, uh, see if they're not just on the bottom and, and not striking that popping cork this morning. Ooh, got him, y'all. Got him. Not thinking he's a keeper, but well, maybe he's staying down pretty good. Let's see. I don't think he's a keeper, but he's a trout. Got us a little trout there, y'all. All right. Yeah, he's not a keeper, but let's see if we can get our Fred back. This trout kind of tore up this Fred, so let's get another one and we'll get that back out there. It just appears that that popping cork's not working this morning. We'll, we'll maybe try to a little bit later, but it started to get windy and a little bit more rough. And uh, sometimes if it's too rough, that popping cork kind of loses its advantage because, you know, there's all kind of other noise and disturbance on the surface already with, the, with what the wind is creating. It's definitely a fishy looking spot. So we're on high tide. So this water is up on this little island a little more than usual, so redfish will kind of go up and take advantage of that and go up deeper into the grass, you know, that's normally not covered with water. So a lot of times when it's a real high tide, you can find some success, you know, next to these shorelines. Oh, I got him, y'all. Here he is. Boy, that lure wasn't in the water for him. Oh, he got off. Got off. It wasn't a hard strike, so I'm not sure he really was ever hooked. Like I said, it hit the water and then he was there. I 
didn't know it for a second, but I don't know if that has to do. You got this, you know, wind pushing water on both sides of this point over here. Um, sometimes, you know, that can create a good uh, water movement for the fish to grab something as it washes by. So I don't know if that was part of it, but definitely had a fish on. Got him, y'all. I got him. He seems like he's got some weight to him, y'all. Oh, no. Did he get off? Man. Yeah, got off. He had some weight to him, y'all. Kind of dislodged the hook and everything. All right, so had a couple fish on, on that Fred paddle tail on the bottom. We're getting a little deeper. So I'm gonna go back to our DOA popping cork setup. There we go. Got him, y'all. Got him. Now he's gonna be little, but nonetheless, it's a, it's a trout. Little, little. Look at this guy. Look at this little guy. Now, last time I was using this DOA, the first couple fish that it caught were little trout, but then it caught a monster redfish. So I'm not gonna let that discourage me in the slightest. All right, so I think we've got two things going for us. We got the uh, tide probably starting to move now um, off of that high tide. Number two, I've pushed us back to shallower grass, which can be more productive spots on high tides. Oh, man, I, that was crazy. It's almost like it was a Spanish. But we got all kind of activity with this thing all of a sudden. Two small trout, some kind of something that hit it like a Spanish. But we're over some good looking grass. Nice thick canopy of grass. And this is probably about three feet of water. All right, so I had a couple fish on that DOA. I'm gonna switch to the Voodoo. Bite had slowed down with that DOA, so if we don't catch something on this, I'm not sure I'm gonna blame it on the voodoo. I wanna kinda of give these others a try as well. All right, as good as that popping cork was the other day, my gut feeling just tells me it's not gonna be working today. I've tried it for a good amount of time. It's really starting to get a little rougher and real windy. I think I need to just focus on the bottom. So I took that same power prawn with the weedless hook off the popping cork, and I'm just gonna fish it straight on the bottom. So if the hook becomes exposed like this, you can kind of push the lure forward, kind of get that hook buried just slightly, kind of pull it back, and it'll kind of hold that hook or hide that hook. All right, so we're going to try something different. This is a uh, Mirror Lure Catch 2000, and it's a slow sinking. It just kind of gradually sinks like this, but you can kind of twitch it and work it somewhat like a topwater, but it's going to be right below the surface, and you just kind of have to be careful to keep it out of the grass. But, you know, I'm not having much luck with, with much of anything today, so... Um, it could be this wind we're moving so fast it's kind of choppy but uh, got some storms coming so you never know what the reason is but I just felt it was getting too rough for that 
popping cork. Plus, I really hadn't had much luck with it. Oh, here we go, y'all. Right off the bat, it's a redfish. Oh, we got off. Hey, but it was a redfish. I saw him. It was a nice redfish. So let's get this mirror lure back out there so we can get him on board. That'll, that'll make our day, I believe. Oh, he got another strike right there. I couldn't tell, but it looked like a trout chasing after it. Kind of hit it right here towards the boat. I'm sure he saw the boat and said, forget it. Oh, here he is, y'all. Got him. Let's see if he stays hooked. Oh, he's got some pull to him. Is he coming towards the boat? What is he doing? Didn't seem like, oh, there he is. I haven't seen him yet, but we definitely got him on. I don't think he's as big as that redfish that we just had, but it's a little, well, decent trout. Oh, he got off. I don't think he was a keeper. It was definitely a trout, but he might have been 15. feel monstrous but I'm catching fish with this mirror lure here now he's just a smaller trout no he's a pinfish pinfish on the mirror lure 2000 got here. Trout, I believe. I think he's going to be too small again. Is this another pinfish? Oh, it was a pinfish. these little pinfish and I've got this bigger rod I thought about putting this out, putting that out there trying to catch a shark or something he definitely would have found it that was a good size one. unfortunately we had to leave the fish biting since the storms were quickly closing in on us our conditions today didn't give us the best opportunity to use the popping cork but our adjustments did help us hook several fish, proving that knowledge is best gained by time on the water. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to help me grow this channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribed, hit that like button, and left me a comment. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate you very much. And until next time, I hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing.